Hello friends, in today's video I'm going to show you how I'm inspired by the um, new collage paper by Tim Holtz which is very lovely, I do like his papers very much, I don't know if you can see that very well uh, it's beautiful stuff, um, I'm inspired by it, I'm also inspired by this Stamperia page from the Artisan paper set, 12 by 12s I love it, I love I love all these watercolour samples and everything and it's just grungy with bits of water splashes and everything so I thought I'd have a go at combining the two and making something of my own so this is the result I've made these lovely collage papers this is the original but what I've done is I've printed it out and I love it I'm going to use these a lot I also printed it out I printed it out on the calligraphy stroke rice paper I also printed it out on some ordinary paper that I can use so I'm gonna have some fun with those but I've already used a little bit from this because I made a tag you'll see that in the video I'll show you what how I make that but I'll show you how I make this paper now I use watercolors a lot in it but I thought I'd mention that you can also use your neo colors your woodies your all oh, things are falling down hang on your posca pens all sorts of things to make these don't necessarily need watercolors i quite like watercolors just for the fun of it it's not they're nice and easy and accessible oh you can also obviously use your acrylics you can use the inks anything you like really to make this also um i use the uh these rubber stamps from aliona creates that she has on her Etsy shop. Now you don't need those either. You can just draw a circle or draw a triangle. You can just do what you like really. You don't have to use those. I also used my squares that um, I sell in my Etsy shop. You don't need those. But I do have a set that squares and circles available in my Etsy shop. So if you want those, they are worth buying because they're, they're really handy to have. But you can make your own templates. I can't find the one I made. Here it is. You can make your own. I just cut out some squares from a piece of cardboard. And so it means I had a variety of sizes. I've got the smaller ones and I've got the larger ones there. So I just wanted to mention that you don't have to do it exactly as the way I did it. And I also thought I'll tell you how I print on tissue paper. What I do is I get a sheet of, um, obviously I'm in the UK, so we use A4 paper. And along the top edge of the A4 paper, I put some double-sided tape. I glue down the rice paper, then I cut it to size exactly the A4. I also run a little bit along the edges, a little bit of a very light um, glue stick. And then because I've got a rear feeding printer, I can, it prints through fine. If you have a printer that goes around rollers, you may come up, up on some problems. So I can't guarantee that your printer will work. Anyway, so <laughs> let's get started and I'll show you how I made this. So to make the samples, I've got this set from Aliona on Etsy. She's on YouTube, uh, Aliona Creates. She's having a bit of a hard time with her Etsy at the moment, which is quite terrifying hearing what's going on there. But anyway, I bought these oof, before Christmas last year, so I haven't used them yet. I also have my own templates that I can lay down, I could draw within. I also made some out of cardboard a while ago, and they're different sizes, which would be nice because I can have different bits all over the page, like the stamp area one, like that. It's going to be fun. I think also with the Stamperia one, what I like about it, it's got splashes and sploshes and things. So I'm going to be doing that as well. Right, let's just test the paper that it's going to cope with watercolour before I do anything else. What I like about the Tim Holtz ones are the nice original watercolour colours. But that's okay because most watercolours, you can make them look like that easily enough. Right, so we'll start off with the rice paper. First of all just going to draw out a few bits and we're going to stamp a few bits so it works well on the rice paper 
the calligraphy paper. So I'm now going to try it on the wet strength tissue, see which is best. Um, I've got a bit of wrinkling, but I expected that. I'm in water on any paper will cause some wrinkling unless you stretch it. And then if this if, if this is the best one, I'm just going to carry on on all the papers. Anyway, let's try. I'm going to go and try the wet strength tissue now. See what happens with that. I'll be back when I've experimented a little bit. Oh, well, immediately I have my answer. The wet strength tissue it encourages the water to run outside. So it's not going to work for what I have. It's very pretty, but it's not what I want for this. So I'm going to stick with the calligraphy paper. So what I'm going to do is carry on covering the calligraphy paper now with confidence. So I'm going to show you. I'm using the colour circle from Aliona Creates and it's lovely. I'm going to show you how gorgeous it is actually. Uh, what I want to do is cover the paper. Um, I'm going to put some um, messy paper underneath just so I don't get my background messy. So, yes, I'm just going to cover the paper with different colour swatches basically. And then I'm going to add words. I might do some typing. Let's have another one next to it there. And look how sharp, wait till you see how sharp it is, pressing it down firmly. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Really pleased with that. She's still got them in her Etsy shop. So I stamped that and then what I've got to do, I've got, I sell these in my Etsy shop, but I sell it as this size, A5 size now. And it's great for colour swatching. So this one, I'm going to do all of these. And I'm using a waterproof, I'm using stays on ink for the stamp because it's waterproof. I'm using a waterproof pen so that um, I don't get any mess and I just follow the outline. It's a template, basically. I sell quite a lot of these in my Etsy shop because a lot of watercolour artists like to do swatches. I do as well. And because it's all my own work, I'm not using any commercial stamps or anything. And I'm not exactly copying Tim Holt and I'm not exactly copying Stamperia. I'll be able to sell this as a downloadable in my shop and I'll be able to copy it onto this paper which would be quite nice and I want to do some reds for this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to carry on now I'm going to cover the entire sheet with all sorts of colour swatches um, different colours I'm just going to have fun with it it may be a little bit boring to watch so I'm going to speed it up I'm going to put on some jaunty music if you don't like the music just silence it and put your own music on or something and then we'll have a look at it at the end and I'll add some text and all sorts of fun things oh so excited to have my own collage paper so um so yes here comes the jaunty music So I thought I'd just pause at this moment and tell you that although I've been using watercolours because the ones that Tim Holtz did were watercolour based, you don't have to use watercolours. If you've got acrylics, use those. If you've got inks, use those. If you've got some uh, Stabilo woodies, use those. If you've got some Neo Colour 2s, use those. I have got some of those somewhere but I can't find them so I'm using these Carrot Aquarelles which are similar but not as good. You can use those colours instead if you want to do this yourself. Just thought I'd mention that. And now I'm going to go back to the jaunty music again. And I'll be back once we get onto the next stage.
You can also use Posca pens. So just use anything you've got to make this. Right, let's have some yellow in that one. They're very easy, oh, but they slightly mash up the paper. Has it gone through? Got be a light touch with them, I recommend, if you're gonna use your Poscas. There we go. So the Poscas worked great, but you have to do a very light touch because the paper was bobbling slightly there. So now the difficult bit is I want to do writing like the Tim Holtz one. There's some writing on these as well. So I'm not going to do anything readable. I might just do numbers. It's all going to be rather made up, but that's fine. Let's have a quick look at the Tim Holtz picture. So yes, he's got writing, handwriting and numbers. I think that might be type to writing on there. I don't really want to put it through the typewriter. I think it'd be a bit too hard on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my pen and I'm going to get some lined paper so I can write straight. Otherwise I slant badly. So I'm going to line it up there. And then I'm just going to write some things and some numbers. I'm just going to put one in that two in that actually as you're doing this you'll probably find yourself understanding your colors quite a lot better I mean how interesting it is to mix um, yellow uh, cerulean and magenta and you get this lovely brown you really should get black, but I mixed ochre with a bluey green and a purple and I did get black. This one I mixed the, the true primaries, the red, blue and yellow, and I got a sort of nice olive green. So it was quite interesting. Right, so I think that's the writing, all the writing I'm going to do for this at this moment. Now we're going to do some splashes. Right, I'm just going to cover the surface. With some messy paper, hopefully. Turn it around that way. Now, what colours does Stamperia use? Grey blues, ooh, a bit of reds, a bit of ochre, a bit of everything by the looks of it. Okay, that's good. It's going to be fun. Splatter. Oh, it went everywhere. Nice splatters. Lovely. That makes it so much more interesting. Getting some paint splatters on. We'll have some grey now. These will dry lighter as well. Bear that in mind. There we go. Oh, that was a good one. I'm going to use my splatters. Have some on the edges. Another dupe. And now I'm going to use it in a tag. Some of it anyway. What part shall I use? Oh, I want to use all of it. Let's tear off a bit of this. Shall we? I don't want to tear it. Right, we're going to tear it. Lovely as it is. And I use it on this tag, like so. Okay, so I'm going to glue that down. I'm just going to use glue stick because it's not waterproof. Mine isn't. If you did it in acrylics, it would be. But because I've used watercolour, any moisture now will just make it run. I like that rough 
edge there. Yum. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So, quite often when I do something like this, people say, can you show me how you use it? Which is why I'm making a tag. Oof. This will be one of my 100, 100 tags on my 100 day project. It's very wet. Okay, that's nice. I think I'm going to do some more splatters on that because, you know, a girl needs, needs lots of splatters, apparently. So this time I'm going to use blacks and whites, I think. You know those odd pages from books? I stamp and type numbers out. And they are great for this sort of thing. And I'm going to ink around the edges of this. Just lightly, I'm not going to overdo it. There we go. <laughs> I love it. Right, now I want. I'm going to sew around the edges. I'll be back once I've done that. Okay, so here it is. I've sewn around the edges twice. And now I'm going to put an eyelet in. I'm going to do that one. So, my poor old broken crocodile is going to come into action. Um, what colour ribbon will go with that? Oh, the blue, I think. So here we are, how I've used my papers. They look great once they're in use. I mean, it looks a bit tatty at this stage, but hey ho. It looks fantastic when you tear bits off and use it. And you can still see what's underneath. See, I've used a text background. I make myself various backgrounds. And once it's glued down, you can still see what's underneath, which I really like. So, whew, have a go at this if you want to have some of the Tim Holtz paper but can't afford it. Um, or you want to make your own, you know, you want something more individual. That's why I do it really, because I, I love Tim Holtz stuff, absolutely love it. I love Stampier stuff, absolutely love it. But I don't want my work to only be a reflection of theirs. I want it to be a reflection of my personality and what I like, which is why I um, want to make my own really and to encourage other people to do the same. Anyway, so if you enjoyed this video, <laughs> please let me know. Please let me know if you thought it was rubbish. <laughs> it might well be. I don't know. If you liked it, please let me know. Drop some comments down below if you like to um, make dupes like this. And if you'll give this a go, I'd love to hear. Um, keep it as simple as you like. I mean, I went a bit, bit wild with everything. Um, I'll put links down below about what, what the items are that I used. Aliona's, um, I hope I'm saying her name right. I'm going to link to her so she'll correct me if she needs to. Um, I'm going to put a link to her, um, her Etsy and where this stamp set, I can't find it, oh here we are, where her stamp set came from. Yeah, I'll link to hers and I'll link to the calligraphy stroke rice paper that I have and that I've used so that you can find it yourself. But just have fun. That's the important thing, just have fun. That's what we're here for. We're to express ourselves, try out our um, creativity, and just try something different every now and then. It's great, isn't it? It's good, I like doing that. Thanks very much for watching. I've rambled on enough, haven't I? Sorry about that. And uh, come again next week. Mm, I've got a good idea for next week. See you soon, bye.